Hey, wow. the guy had went down that street and he come out that that, that passenger window over the top of the window with that yeah that, 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 that cannon or whatever he had that, and everybody started running. He started dropping. Doo, 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 doo. They start dropping on the field. We go all running, running around, getting on the ground, trying to hide behind trees. One of our representatives from Pepsi got shot in the arm. Wow. Mm. Right. And uh, Frosty, the guy was yapping at him, he got shot in, the, in his leg, lower leg. Right? Because they're trying to shoot him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, those guys standing around. And she didn't <clears> get shot. After that, the girl didn't get shot. No. Mm. After that, we was like, oh, shit. Whoa. Some ugly. So that's when Hammer started wearing the vest. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Dude, before that, uh, you probably gonna ask me about this later. Khalil Roundtree okay. was a men's manager. I seen, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got I murdered that. in Chicago. So we're like, dang, what's going on? We cursed to somebody? You know, what's going on? And then two weeks after that happened, you're getting shot on stage. We got shot at again mm. in Let's Albuquerque, talk. New Mexico. And he wasn't wearing a bulletproof vest yet. Yeah, he, he started wearing. He started at that time. Let's yeah. talk about that. That two weeks later, uh, in Al what what happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico? We was playing a softball game against the fire department and the police department. Then Hammer did charity stuff like that. We had an off day, so we out there playing softball, and baseball. One of Hammer's partners from the bay, one of the bodyguards, said his name Frosty. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He was like, he hadn't met a girl, whatever. She was out there chilling with us, whatever, kicking it. And some dudes came through the old El Camino, like they're from mm -hmm. L.A. or somewhere. Tell them game bangers or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, hey, come here, Mika. Come here, let me out at you one minute. Uh, boy, you know, you know women do. I ain't stunning you, man, whatever, but. And they kept saying, hey, hey, B I T C H, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Boy, you And then Frosty's like, hey, hey, nigga, you know what she said? Hey, go on, hey, keep it moving, partner. You know what I'm saying? Move around. Oh, oh, it's like that, it's like that. So Hammer's head security, Wee Wee, Wee Wee peeped it out. He said, hey, man, them niggas gonna come back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They look like they bought that. They're like, what? He said, we all them, all them sitting behind us, hammering them, they don't know what's going on. So we're close, we close to the street and everything. So they goes down and turn around at the end of the street and come back down. They come back up like, right, like on, on the movies, a drive-by. They don't care that y'all playing against firefighters and, and police. And police. And he, they don't even care. They don't even care. Hey, wow. the guy halfway down that street and they come out that, that, that passenger window over the top of the window with that. That, yeah, that, that, that cannon, whatever he had, that, and everybody started running. He started dropping. Doo, 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 doo. They started dropping on the field. We go all running, running around, getting on the ground, trying to hide behind trees. One of our representatives from Pepsi got shot in the arm. Wow. Mm. Right. And uh, Frosty, the guy was yapping at him. He got shot in, the, in his leg, lower leg. Right. Because they're trying to shoot him. Mm -hmm. But you know, the guy standing around. And she <clears> didn't get shot. After that, the girl didn't get shot. No. Mm. After that, we was like, oh shit. Whoa, some ugly. So that's when Hammer started wearing the vest. He's like, "Yo, man, somebody, somebody trying to sabotage our tour, or some, some ain't right. We need to fix this." And uh, uh, his brother, like Lewis, like you need to start wearing the vest. He said, "Hell, what's the use of wearing the vest? Hell, they shoot me in the head. Mm -hmm. Do me like they did uh, Martin Luther. Ain't no mm -hmm. difference." Hammer said, "I ain't scared." He said, "Brother, <laughs> ain't about you being scared. It's about you being safe." Put the vest on. They go, we, go, we got you a nice vest where you really can't tell you got it up in your suits. They refitted his suits. The fitting me said, just see, can you move in and whatever. Hammer still can move, you know, doing his things. Yeah, 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 I can move, man, whatever. It's okay. So we going home to Oakland. The room already out. The town are already ain't like a hammer. We coming home. Cause of them police. Yeah, the police and that, 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 that uh, task force, whatever they're doing. So they upset like a mug. So we scared now, like, Hammer said, I ain't gonna let them punk me in my own town. I'm gonna perform. They're gonna kill me. And his brother Lou tried to tell him, don't do it. Let's cancel the show. Let's cancel it. Hammer said, hell no, we doing the show. I ain't, I'm going home. I ain't scared of them. And we did it. We had no problems. Wow. I wanna I wanna ask you about uh Red Man. He always on a lot of interviews talk about MC Hammer step to him because mm -hmm. he had said something about his mother. Yeah. Or something like that. What was that about? Do you remember? That uh, the same thing like that other cat, uh, uh, MC Search. Okay. Yeah. Tell uh, me, did, were you around ever when he? Yeah. When 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 Hammer expressed something about? Not that? with Red Man. That was later. He, I know he checked him, but I've been in some other situation. We checked some other other. Okay, cats let, let, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but but you said somebody else talked about his mother too. Yeah. Yeah. MC Search, and he's like Hammer really wanted to get him, 
We trying to catch him where we could. What, we did, he, what did MC Hammer say concerning it? You know, is that when I see you, I'm knocking you out. He talked to him. He got word to him. I don't know if they talked directly on the phone, but he sent word. The kite went out. Whenever I see you, I'm knocking you out. You so, talking about my mama. So y'all had to have be be on pretty good alert whenever y'all would go places because of the mm -hmm. way that Hammer moved. Was it certain things that y'all kind of basically? prepared yourself for as you would go and travel to these different places? Oh, yeah. They go ahead of time. <coughs> yeah. Man, we had a guy on our, on our crew that was a military. Um, That's how y'all moved. Blue, Blue Beret, what all that kind of stuff. He would, he would what do you call it? Corner, whatever we call that word. Go scope the scene out before we even get there. Case it. Yeah. Case it. You know everything going on, everything moving, every angle, exit, entries, exits, escape routes. Uh, it, it, well, at first, we used to laugh about it, trip, but TC was the real deal. He was military. He thought like that. And here's what he did. Made very strategic with everything we did. And we moved like that, man. Like, you know, it was, it was some serious. Was there ever, ever a time when, you know, things got heated and you didn't know y'all was almost into a situation where it could have, you could have made, lost everything in a sense as far as it getting that wild, that bad? Nah. No. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you if if they shooting at you on stage, uh -huh. if, if, if you don't never know what who's shooting or who gunning for what you. What could happen? Yeah. So you got to be on top notch alert. Mm -hmm. And if you're on top notch alert, that means you got to have security. Things can get crazy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's a lot of y'all. How many of y'all was it, my <laughs> nigga? God <laughs> dang, it was like it like Shout said, 50 million dancers <laughs> in a big old band. Oh. I mean, I, it was a bunch of three, five, seven. I seen him on our senior hall. It was five niggas out there with him, and I thought that was it. And they bust off, and then he opened the curtain up. It was a whole nother damn. I was one of them five. That's what I said. I knew that in was the you. the coat with the head on and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted and he was looking to one side like yeah. that. We called the homeboy choir. That's what Hammer called us, the homeboy choir. But then when y'all burst off, it was a whole nother crew behind yeah. that. Dance crew, dance crew, dance crew, band, live band, dancers, background singers, both sides, five and five. Because that's some of the groups. From, Hammer put everybody he had signed on stage. Special Generation, Soft Touch, um, me, all the dancers, and including other dancers. Cause after, you know, a lot of other artists he had finished their tours, Hammer would take their dancers if they was good enough. They'd be on the road with us. How much? How many? How, how many vehicles? What y'all have? Tour bands? We have buses. Buses? How, how many? many buses? We had like four, sometimes five. Y'all move with four or five buses. Uh -huh. That's a lot what, of paychecks. The, yeah. 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 Most definitely. Furthest place y'all went mm -hmm. from Oakland on those buses? We went all over the country. I've been to every major city in this country at least five times. Every one of them. Every major city. And in little bitty towns, too. Places you've probably never heard of. Festivals and stuff like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.